Hi. Hello. Hello. So every time someone comes on the show, we do it now on the show. Diego Luna. <laughs> <laughs> so nice Hi. to be here. I'm, I'm excited. Hopefully we, we this really helps for us to reach that number and to make this happen and uh, and to make sure it's soon not just California, you know, but the whole the whole country. Uh, so the idea was to to really go to you and knock on your door and say we're here and we're gonna stay for a week so you better come out and join. Uh, and and it happened slowly and obviously there was every year we changed cities, you know, like one city didn't react the way we thought so we moved to somewhere else. Um, and uh, and the country was changing also, and uh, and that uh, allows to 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 move to different cities and to to grow. But I remember there was I don't know if it was Elena knows this better, but if it was the second or third year that we had to shrink, and and uh, and it was painful to tell a few cities that we were not going to go anymore, uh, which. Uh, which uh, then, then we, we had a chance to to prove our point. We grew, we managed to 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 become more than just a, a festival that would show films, you know. But uh, that workshop starting to be very important, and and that uh, the encounter of, of 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 directors with other filmmakers or potential filmmakers uh, was was was. Yeah, very strong, and uh, and it grown, and and now it's huge. Now it's not just the the the, the tour, you know. It's a, it's like a movement that happens the whole year, you know, and it's a chance to for a community to be in touch for the whole year, you know, and uh, and those who live in the north are connected with those in the south. But I what I always say is that the the, the festival started to become what I guess every community needed, you know, instead of what we thought they needed, uh, which was the big learning curve, you know. At the beginning we said, oh, this is the structure, this is what they need. Suddenly we realized not many were actually going to the big, to the, to the commercial cinemas, you know, and the most successful part was like what was happening in plazas, what, what was happening in galleries, uh, you know, the, the, there was a, a few years uh, that also we went to, to, to jails, you know, uh, with a very uh, successful program. Uh, many times I'm just a witness of the, 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 this animal taking his own form, you know, and it's the, the amazing part of it. And, and I, don't think, I don't think California needs what Monterrey in Mexico or Guadalajara or or, or, or Michoacan uh, need, you know, it's uh, it's it's exactly that's what is exactly exciting, you know. By being in California, I realize there is a need for these stories to be shared and for for for, for a connection to be made. And uh, but how is that gonna happen? And uh, uh, how does that translate? Is something we'll find out on the way. And uh, with you leading us, obviously, uh, and I'll be very happy to witness. Uh, and I believe Ambulante comes in the right moment in California to connect a young audience that is willing to 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 see themselves reflected in, in the story of others. It's amazing when 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 cinema finds you, you know. And yeah, uh, I love I love that cinema finds you. So so it's uh, it's. It's it's the way it should be. Uh, also, I I I agree. The, the the you know one thing we we realized when Ambulante came out, everyone started saying, "Can can I send my story? Are you producing, guys? Uh, here it is." And, and and the first rule, and that's why uh, probably uh, we were yeah we were young and dumb and and, uh, and anxious and and. We put everything together like in less than six months, you know, and we were out already. Uh, it was, it was hard work. But uh, one one thing was like, well, we're not gonna, we're gonna just choose the documentaries we like. It's not about putting what's the, the latest, you know, and, and the freshest. And uh, and in fact, there's no gonna be like rules, you know. It could be a documentary from really far away, and then another from 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 your neighbor. 
you know, uh, on the same selection. And but then we realize, uh, uh, and and every year more and more, that in fact there is a need to not just promote the watching but the making of them. You know, uh, mm -hmm. and and many times the watching generates that, and uh, and somehow we have to find a way to 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 be part of the whole process. You know, uh, it's definitely so powerful to see uh, how documentaries can be the way for a voice to come out. You know, and to define uh, uh, as a yes, yeah, a, a unique voice. You know, documentaries are the great tool to find your voice as a filmmaker uh, I think and uh, and if Ambulante finds those filmmakers and, and finds them an audience and connects them with an audience I think we'll be will be very very proud of what we've done I, I think it's it's difficult to generalize you know I think the audience in Mexico City is very different than the audience in, in, in Morelia or Guadalajara where I'm at the moment and People in the north are exposed to something different. If you live in Tijuana, you're closer to San Diego than to Mexico City. That way, I mean, if you if you think about the life of a, of someone in Tijuana, it's, it's amazing to see how different it is from those who live in the south. So I don't think you can you can talk about the audience of Mexico uh, or the audience of California. Uh, but what I can say is that definitely the options. When when Ambulante comes out in California, the audiences are much more connected to documentaries than audiences were when we opened in Mexico. You know, uh, the the Ambulante in Mexico was one of the only chances to get access to documentaries, and that's why Ambulante started happening in Mexico because we were looking at stuff that no one else was looking at. In, in not our friends, you know, uh, and that was just the, the world of the niche that can go to festivals, uh, and in, I think in California it's a different thing. You know, I think in California you go to the universities and uh, you see people are connected to documentaries, and uh, and and it's about just bringing more voices, more ideas, more stories, and and, and diversity to this audience. But it's that that I think it's a big difference. Uh, I think, I mean, the the effort you guys have put behind this is amazing and it needs to be recognized and, and it needs to succeed and I'm sure it will. Uh, we have not many hours but we have hours and uh, uh, so if you're there <laughs> uh, please make sure everyone knows uh, how dramatical and important that the next hours were for the life of such a beautiful project. And for those who are on our family now Welcome. Uh, I promise. This is. I can say, this is the the the, the project that makes me the proudest, and uh, uh, I I I feel I feel I belong to something that actually matters a lot, which is Ambulante, and uh, I'm happy to welcome you and our family. Excellent. And with that, I'm going to give you the. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.